Hey everyone, it's Pete from Abstract Ocean. Um, here we are with our Highland Model 3, so refreshed uh, 2024 Model 3. Um, and what we're installing today is this uh, trunk seal protector. So it goes here. I don't know if you can see already, but this carpeted material isn't ideal for a loading area or a, you know, a high wear area. So this just adds some protection to that. And it looks pretty cool too. Um, you don't have to have any tools at all to do it. We are gonna use, or I may end up using um, our trim tools. We sell this separately if you need it, um, but we'll see how we get along. So first thing we need to do is, let me just get this out of the way. So I need, so we also have our rear mats. So let me get that out of the way. <clears throat> and then I just want this out of the way as well. Okay, with that done, we're going to start on the right side. So very easy fit. So you have a Velcro strip here, which sticks to this, this area of the carpet. And then this area here tucks under the weather seal on the trunk. So aside from the Velcro was sticking, we don't want it to, we're going to just kind of make a start here. Obviously it just kind of molds in. I'm just pulling this away. Hope you can see that on one of the cameras. And I'm just going to kind of work away along so just using fingertips, not difficult. This is where I'd probably use a trim tool just to, you know, save my fingers a little bit. But as you can see, it's going in pretty easy. I'm going to carry on. Okay. That's all nice and stuck. And over here, just want to make sure it's stuck against the carpeting material. I'm going to pull back the, the lower trunk cover. And that is it. Um, not at all difficult as you can see, but this gives you a much more um, robust loading area for your Model 3. Um, and lifts it just slightly above as well, so less chance of scuffing your rear bumper. I guess just one more thing. So once you've got it installed, um, obviously we add a little depth to the um, to this area here. So we're just going to do a test close, make sure it closes okay. It does, no problem at all. If for some reason yours bounces back up again, um, all we need to do is just fix the bumper stops, which are these things that go on camera here. So you can just turn those in or out and that just adjusts the, the pressure that it um, closes with. So just make that adjustment and you'll have no issues. Okay, that really is it this time. Thanks for watching.